to my channel. So I have my first ever Halloween tutorial for you guys and I'm so excited by the way it came out. I've been playing around with this for a couple days. I wanted it to be awesome for you guys and I love the way it came out. It is a zombie pinup which I have been playing around all day with my hair. It took me for a while and I love the way it came out. It's like my favorite thing ever. So if you want to see how I created this look, then go ahead and keep on watching. I use a lot of, or most of the base makeup that I use is from the Halloween store. So I wanted to show you that you can create awesome looks by not spending so much money. So the majority of the people out there are probably heading over to Halloween stores to get their looks for a Halloween, obviously. And sometimes, a lot of these tutorials don't tell you how to work that type of makeup and you get the wrong stuff and you can't blend it. So I wanted to show you a few little tips and tricks that I learned by using Halloween store makeup which I think, I mean, you can't even tell. It looks awesome and you don't have to break your little budget for Halloween. So if you want to see how I turned myself into a zombie pinup, then go ahead and keep on watching. First, I'm starting off by blocking my brows. This is the first time I did this, so it's a little sloppy. But with practice, I'm sure the next look would be better. Using glue, I'm applying it to my brows and making sure they are nice and flat. Then taking the scar wax from the spirit store, applying it directly over the glue, concealing and setting in the brows comes next. I wouldn't suggest using scar wax, it was a little hard to... Once we look nice and creepy, we are ready to start with the latex. I got this kit from the spirit store and using toilet paper, you're going to start laying down the latex and splitting the toilet paper in half, lay little strips on top of the latex and do this for a few layers until you reach a desired thickness. I did this for like three to four layers. So just apply the latex and toilet paper and repeat this. Pretty much it's all sped up. If not, this video would be like 30 minutes long. Oops. So we're just gonna let that air dry. We're going to be taking the scar wax, I'm grabbing a little glob and working it into my hands to warm it up and roll it to make kind of like this little snake shape. This is a little hard to work with but the more you work with it the easier it is. I will use latex as glue to secure it in place and just build up the layers. Now the green tint to this look. I'm mixing my foundation with green and white grease paint. The reason I use foundation is to allow the grease makeup to be more blendable. The key is to get grease makeup rather than cream makeup which is so much easier to work with. So I'm applying it to my neck and face for now and I'm avoiding the latex part of the look while it's drying. You can take this on your arms as well but I just focused on what was visible on camera. to the scar wax. On our forehead, I'm using this sculpting tool to create a divot to look like a deep cut and applying more latex over top. With the cheek scar, I'm going to rip it in the middle so it will give the effect of exposed cheekbone and teeth. Using latex to stick those little flaps down, if they are too much, you can cut it, but I like the effect it gives like this. So I'm going to be taking my NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk. This will be your best friend for Halloween. I'm laying out the teeth design. 
Then I'm going to be using black grease makeup and I'm going to further sculpt out the teeth and add a little bit more of depth and dimension to the hollows of the cheek. The Cinema Secrets color stack is awesome. I'm taking the bright red and using it closer to the teeth and the gums and on the latex flaps just to give it that like bloody look closer to the good stuff, the teeth. And then I'm going to be using the rest of the colors, the dark, the reds, and the purples to give it more of a realistic look. This is basically however you want it to look, so play with different colors. Filling in the rest with the green color we made to get rid of that latex look. And following the same logic for the cut. I'm using the darker colors and the red to make the cut look deeper and applying the green to the latex that's showing. Using the green from the Take Me to Brazil palette, I'm using it to hollow out my cheeks and also hollow out parts of my chest to give it a swollen look. Then I'm going to be using this yellowish green shimmer for the lid. It's easier to work in with my fingers so I'm patting it in all over the lid. Then this green color to define my crease. Using foundation makes blending color so much easier. So taking this duo brush palette, this bright pink, I'm applying it to the apples of my cheeks. I wanted her to still be glam while being a zombie. So using the white highlighting uh, color from the palette, I'm highlighting the the high points of my cheeks and no pinup look would be complete without liquid liner so I'm using the lash stiletto to line my upper lash line and flick it at the ends to create a cat eye. <music> Setting it in with e.l.f. translucent powder. camera I applied Vegas Nate Classic Charm Lashes to give her more of a vampy look. Now we are applying NYX Milk to open up the eyes and adding mascara to the bottom lashes. I had a difficult time with my brows, so for my brows I wanted to give her a high arch, but the scar wax was falling apart, but it looks more like rotting flesh, so it worked for me. Just keep working it in until you get a desired eyebrow look. Lastly, taking NYX Lip Liner in Hot Red and Milani Lipstick in Ruby Valentine to make this look complete. No pinup look will be complete without red lipsticks. And then on top of that, I'm applying Maybelline Signature Scarlet to give it more of a glossy finish. Now the good stuff. We're applying blood to the face and with a Q-tip and allowing the blood to drip to look more realistic. 
I ended up just squeezing it from the tube. It was easier. And with that, our glam zombie pinup is complete. You can pull the color to your hands and make it look more finished, but I wanted to keep her just so what you could see. Alright guys, so that does it for me for my first Halloween tutorial. I really hope you guys like it as much as I did in creating it and I think it just looks so awesome. I'm so excited for Halloween and so excited for some more budget friendly looks for you guys that I've been creating with store bought like makeup from the Halloween stores. So if you want to see more then give this video a thumbs up and also if you like this video give it a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button and I will see you for my next video. Bye guys!